was no engineering program at the school I went to. When you go to college, you want to have a quality program because if your program is known as a quality program, then your degree has higher value in the industry. My, uh, my job with outreach is, um, is getting our students in the schools and inspiring young kids to consider STEM fields. So I run a program called the STEM Ambassadors which our goal is to inspire kids, uh, give them positive role models, and then provide them with hands-on STEM activities where typically uh, we go into classrooms um, across the entire state of New Hampshire. As far as what middle schools and high schools can do to prepare, I would focus heavily on the skills of mathematics and even on the social skills, the project skills, the, the skills in um, how to work in teams effectively. And in addition, you want to have some engineering projects so you can see what it feels like to be an engineer. Um, I was interested in engineering because of mathematics and I really loved mathematics and at the time I was trying to think of what I what could you possibly do for a job as a mathematics besides being a math teacher and it, you know it, it came up short until I discovered that engineers are very very much in need of uh, high mathematics skills and that's when I made the choice. More than 50% of them are actually young women. So these young women are getting out into these communities and working with fourth, fifth, and sixth, and seventh, and eighth grade girls. And you know they're saying, "Well, I didn't." These young girls are like, "I didn't know girls could be engineers." I went to a public high school, and um, you know, just typical high school student. There was nothing at that point that was interested, interesting about me or about the school I went to. So. There was no engineering program at the school I went to. We have a very diverse, both male and female, and also international students and students of different races within our STEM ambassadors group. Um, there's more males. Engineering historically is a male-dominated field. You know, when I was on the job, we had one, one female engineer, uh, which was a shame because she was one of the best engineers in the, in the place. And um, it seems to be still true today. Uh, so I, uh, I went to a high school that also had, was also a vocational center. So uh, we had automotive, uh, we had a transportation technology class, which is one that I took, which is really neat. We learned about motors, we learned about bridge building, and sort of some of the basic engineer principles. Algebra and geometry and trigonometry is what I took in high school. There are approximately 497,300 engineers in America today. 20% of the engineering graduates are women, yet women only make up 11% of practicing engineering. Schools are making changes to their system to introduce students into the engineering field just so they might have an idea of what they want to do as a career. However, not enough kids are getting sufficient exposure to engineering as a result of the math requirement. Engineering employment has grown by only 0.6% since September 2014, adding 16,200 engineers to the workforce.